back again with the brand new freshness. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Monday. How we doing? It's another diverse world for another week at least. Maybe. Uh, maybe do another thing next week or uh, go back to the other thing. I don't know how I feel yet. Um, I have to get over here because we have French information, apparently. <clears throat> now I'm going to apologize right off the bat for my goddamn throat clearing. I uh, had something to drink before this. None of this is really telling me all as much as I want. It's like, uh, this is French, I just don't know where. But I had a drink before this. It was some uh, Kavita, I think, or some... I forget exactly. Um, and it's kind of made my throat a little... I don't know, cloudy. Um, might have to clear my throat more than I want to. So I'm apologizing for that off the bat. Uh, I decided to try it out. I did not want to go over there. Give me a bit. Thank you. Give me on over there. I think there's a sign there. And that god fucking... Right. Ban all trucks. There, I said it. And I'm probably... Oh, we are going to pass in time. I got two minutes left. This is going to tell me everything I need. All right, we're on the A20 E9 battleship. <clears throat> I was trying this drink out. It was zero points. Because since May, I've been on this diet. And um, I do a thing with food, at least. And sometimes drinks where uh, I have... There's the A20, which is um, potentially very long. I don't know if it stretches all the way up there, but going to zoom in and see that the A20, in fact, does go one side of the country to the other, at least to Montauban, so Paris. It's very far away from Paris, but um, I do this thing with, um, <clears throat> see, there we go, with food sometimes where I will find something I like, and then I'll eat it forever. Okay, Orleans, Borges. Um, so where is the E? There's the A20 E9. So we're on the same thing. So maybe we're like here. Now I feel like we're down here farther. Chate Chateau. Yeah, we're like the uh, Red House or something. I don't know. Or House of that flour and water mixture that you constantly stir when you're making um, gumbo and some other type of soups that I cannot think of at the time being. It's a fancy hat. But, again, I do this thing sometimes with food where um, I worked in uh, a kitchen for a very long time, and uh, I made food all the time for a job, and I got very sick of making it to the point where Christ has been a very long time Almost long enough where using this as an excuse is no longer valid, and I should just come to, real, to the realization that I just hate cooking. Um, that I'm still not ready to go back to just like making food all the time, so I just buy pre made food and eat it. But um, more so now, just because of this diet I've been on since May, and uh, uh, what the hell, it's a Weight Watchers thing because. Just like with most people, everyone's got their um, thing that works for them as far as diets go. The only problem is is knowing your limitations. Under ooh, I fucking nailed it. Knowing your limitations and uh, how to address them to make sure that it cannot be a problem. Kind of like people who did like Atkins or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's it's like eating bacon but not apples. But, I mean, um, how well long-term is that? I mean, I'm not a dietitian in any way because they have to get degrees to uh, give you food or something. I always like this when I get to end of roads. Like, there's a little fire here, but it's like showing, yeah, we got plans, but uh, ran out of money or just don't care right now. Let me hit home, because this could be 
uh, this is super tropical, so maybe this isn't Taiwan. Maybe this might be another one of those Pacific Island things where I just get fucked. Or we have... I can't tell if that's China or Japan. This could be Taiwan. I'm not, I'm not saying no yet. I need to see more uh, writing as if being able to see that will tell me um, the distinct difference between Chinese and Japanese writing. I don't think it will because I have zero faith in my ability to distinguish between the two. Because, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's like distinctive writing and I can't tell. I want to say Japan. But I can be wrong, and I probably will be. But anyway, yeah, there's millions of different diet fads where you like uh, just drink coffee and eat lemons for six days a week, and you lose twenty pounds. But can you like keep that off? How sustainable is that, or is it just like a? I just need to do this for a weekend, then I'm gonna go back. But arguably, isn't that worse just because of the rebound? Like, okay, we got all that back, and then your body's like, oh, let's never do that again. Let's, uh, let's, let's store up some more, uh, energy. I gotta make a choice here. Problem is, this is a big, like, area to guess between. I'm, ah, uh, man, I don't know. Diverse world makes me feel like I should, I don't know what these look like as far as, um, islands and I don't know if they probably would do that. I mean this very I feel like I'm like covering my base enough and this also could no I don't think it's gonna be any of the Indo Chinese places. Um but anyway the diet that I had going all the way back to my throat thing which thankfully has not been too much of an issue yet. Uh I got this thing zero points fantastic because I'm sick of drinking everything else that I drink all the time. So I'm trying to I'm like trying out other things and I'm like over obsessing about the points and everything and um I mean it's not may not be healthy long run as far as like obsessing this much about points but usually when you start something you're super gung ho about it you're super gung ho about it so uh I'm feeling kind of confident that this is I need wait no. I need to see that telephone pole. I'm not going to get a very good view. I need to see, like, one of these telephone poles. I don't think I'm... This is... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to, but... Just try... No? Oh, I guess I can... Okay, I can go that way. Um... But this drink I had was... It, it's probiotic thingamajig. Zero points. It's good for one. Here's my review. It's Kavita. Okay, it was Taiwan. I see I wasn't willing to commit fully to it. But I'm still waiting for that one where it could, like, ruin me for the entire round, like all three episodes last week did. I have to come to the realization that apparently Portugal is my, uh... I am totally not looking at the woman on the phone. I'm trying to see where Rumini is. That's exactly what I'm doing. Manzoko. Doesn't help me yet. Bar pepperoni? Oop. Italy. Gotcha. Alright, so we're in Italia. Near water. I think. Give me a view. Okay, wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. We're next to Naples 1 Bonapartis. I mean... You know, camera resolution ain't great. I mean, that's the whole point of this car is just to get pictures, not high quality pictures where you can zoom in like 10 miles or something and see shit. So, super mountainous up here. Not so much down here. I feel like we're... Mm, I don't see water yet. I'm just going to click here for now. Maybe we'll see what town this is. This is a pretty good view, that in places where I live now, you would have to pay an extra tax for that view. But that's a different story, different time, because I'm still talking about this stupid fucking diet. And now it's gotten to the point now, everything that I've been eating for the past couple months. When did I start this? I think I started in May. 
that uh I'm kind of getting tired of it. Now I got to find things to replace it with, but I got to be like Electroshock. What videos are we selling here? I want to see if I can tell what they are. Orphan? Um, don't know that one. Code Genesi with... Fuck, I can't think of his name. Guy in Book of Eli, Training Day. Oh, God damn it, that's bugging me. And the Wolfman. Cool. Videoteca. Oh, what the hell is that guy's name? Denzel Washington. Jesus Christ, why couldn't I think of that? I seem to have that problem every time I, uh, I'm about to try to think of something at least recorded that I just 100% forget it. Is he punching the coins into the meter? Looks like he's punching coins into a scale. I'm... I feel like this is... Maybe... This'll... This will not help me. I don't know what I'm thinking. This is a fancy roundabout, though. Get me over here. So I can see... Oh, fuck you and you're blurring out the town. Like, we're on the side of a hill. Which makes me feel... Maybe Verona? Could be Bergamo. We're in the north, I feel, and I very well could get fucked, and it turns out, oh no, see, sorry, we're actually in one of these islands. Or that one fucking car, actually. This is really beautiful, though. That one car's like, uh, I'm actually in Portugal, I'm just an Italian-based PC fixing company, and I made this drive over here to fuck with you. Because, congratulations, it worked. I don't think any of this is going to tell me. And even if it did, I don't, I wouldn't be able to tell. I think maybe I should just, if I'm confused between Portugal and uh, Italy, Italy ends more in eyes than I think Portuguese does. But, okay, we're farther down next to San Marino. Okay, cool. Now, I do not know. La Trinidad. It would be funny if this turns out to be Trinidad. I doubt it will be. But, yeah, I'm at the point now with the, the, this, the diet of basically lived off lean cuisines for a very long time, and now I'm kind of getting to the point of, I'm kind of sick of the lean cuisines. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of different choices, but at some point I should get back to making food. It's just... It's always the fight between, I should do this, and the greatest rebuttal your body can have against anything you want to do is the, eh. you always have to put up the biggest amount of fight against the, eh. or, eh. or just, Wah. but, you know, the easy little monosyllabic grunt of, do you have to, I mean, you you feel like you want to, but you really don't need to type of fight. And for a very long time, that won. I mean, this is the second time I've actually done this diet. And the first time I did it was 10 years ago. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I may have. I'm sorry. My memory is garbage. So if I have said this before, you'll just have to uh, forgive me. I don't know where this is. I feel like all these colors make me feel like this is Columbia. But, again, I do not know. I have not seen any websites. They are using that color quite a bit, so maybe it is Colombia. Where's Venezuela? That, no, Venezuela, I don't think, uses those colors on the flags. I'm going to be so mad at myself when I find out I'm going to be wrong, but I'm wrong a lot. So, therefore, I'm very mad at myself a lot, but. Another thing that's always interesting as far as telling people about the diet, and you say, oh, how much do you lose? And you go, blah, blah, blah. One of the things that invariably happens, at least from a lot of people, is they'll talk about, I need to do that, or I was doing that, but I fell off, or, you know, that's a, I feel like I, I, I can do that, you know. And I never really know what to tell them. Because, I mean, this worked for me. Like, 
the motivation at least. It, it was kind of a mix between a couple of things. A friend of mine did it. I'm a bit too codependent as far as the diet stuff, so I can just use them as a measuring stick or a thing to compete against. That seems to work for me. It doesn't work for everybody. Look, this is a very fancy sidewalk, though. I do like it. That tuk-tuk? I don't know what to call it. But, you know, not everything, everything does not work for everyone. You kind of have to want it to happen or in some people's cases have someone to do it with or you need to find your rock bottom in other words like you can always like half start it and that can kind of be worse is there a cordoba i feel like there's a cordoba um yeah so you can always just like yeah sure do it but then that kind of just Re and Venezuela does not. Man, why am I having such a hard time? I f no. I'm just gonna trust my first guess and hope I've got the country right. I probably don't. Option, we done. Uh, the none. Of this this makes me feel like this may be the Philippines now. And I'm going to get a very bad score right now. No. Okay. God, I was I was very concerned. I'm going to say that right now. Um, first guess. Someplace in Europe again. I don't know where this is. Yet. So I'm always a bit reticent to tell, encourage other people as far as diet stuff because then they'll be like, they'll feel like they can start it and then like halfway through it, they just stop and then it just further compounds on themselves because people are like well fuck i just can't do it give me all the ice cream in the world or give me that thin crust barbecue chicken pizza medium sized thin crust barbecue chicken pizza from domino's and i will not eat all of it at once because i'm going to order the chicken kickers and cheesy bread as well no i don't that that's not from uh past history experience no okay we're on a british the british isle version no we're not we're going wait why am i having a hard time thinking okay i need to get a bit closer to this car yeah they're driving on the british side all right look for trains okay this is probably new zealand just because i saw sheep and stereotypes away I feel that this is that pie pie hat to a golf club nice finally get to see a golf club I haven't seen many of those in uh, geography guesser so I'm gonna say over there but ooh, you can you can already kind of tell I believe I feel that we're getting close because that is a tee box. I don't know where you're hitting to because they're lined. You're either hitting this way or you're hitting that way. Either way, I play with a guy who uh, gets a bit concerned about playing around a road, and I kind of get it because, uh, okay, we're going that way. You know, you hit, you hit the ball with a, depending on if you're right. No, we're going this way. I don't know. If you're right-handed or left-handed. Your ball could uh, go into the road and uh, cause a bit of a, you know, accident. And then, honestly, I have not actually done it myself, so I don't know what happens. But um, I'm sure you'll be liable, not the golf course. I'm sure they have some sort of disclaimer saying, "Hey, you hit on the road; it's your own goddamn fault." I came close once in high school. Uh, the first tee, right along the uh, a very busy road, and. Uh, I naturally slice it or fade it, which means I hit right-handed. And slice means it goes off towards the right. So I try to overcompensate for that. And the one time I did... What are you... Okay, that's the... Well, this doesn't help me even if it was Australia, just because, you know, Union Jack, some stars, I can't... There, there's not enough there to tell me the difference between the two. Um, anyway, I... I overcompensated too much and I pulled it and it was up in the air and it happened to be 
pretty much on track with a car that was driving and uh at a certain point in the road there is a stop sign so all the cars have to stop which you know either can help or hurt and i don't know exactly where i landed but i think it was enough close enough to the front of the car that when it hit the ground or the road the car slammed on the brakes like kind of fast and then just drove off so i know i was kind of close at some point and uh that worried me a bit but um I hit a golf cart once when a guy was driving in it. I've never been hit. I've been hit at a... No, it wasn't in North Island. Oh, hey. Look at that. Nailed it this week. I have been hit once at a driving range, just hitting right next to a guy. He swung so badly, it went straight to the right, hit me in the back of the leg. But that's that story real quick. Um, that's Monday done. Thank you all for watching. If you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell me everything. Tell me suggestions. Again, anything for Tuesdays and Thursdays because I'll address that on uh, Wednesday's video because we're going to do these all in a row. But yeah, uh, you guys got any suggestions for things for those days? Or I may just say fuck it and just do these because, you know, I don't know. These next couple of weeks are going to be a bit uh, up in the air just because of something going on that I'll talk about on Wednesday's video. Uh, so until then, folks, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.